see this. This is a random assortment of cassettes in 11, 10 and 12 speed formats for a variety of bicycles. And they are here because they are the topic for today's video. Hello there. Uh, the reason why this video is going to be recorded in a few short minutes is that someone is wrong on the internet. And as you may know, being wrong on the internet is something that calls for immediate remedial. It's precisely what I'm going to be doing today, although not really, but that's, I think, is enough foreshadowing for now. Point being, someone has told me in a forum post on MTBR uh, that they are using an 11-speed cassette with otherwise 12-speed drivetrain from SRAM. And that is somewhat counter to my experience with 11 and 12-speed, or 10 and 11-speed, so I thought that 12-speed shouldn't be compatible because at that time my 12-speed wasn't really compatible, but we'll see about that. Anyhow, uh, the point of this video is that we are going to check compatibility between 11, 12 and 10 speed drivetrains from variety of manufacturers using the assortment of these cassettes you are seeing here. Alright, before we continue with the topic of this video, let me first establish certain baseline. And the baseline is, is it negligent of me to show you a bicycle so dirty? Anyhow, uh, the baseline is uh, actually the root cause why this video exists. Uh, this is my cube. It has an 11 speed Sunrays MX something shifter. There's a Shimano Z 10 speed rear derailleur. I think this is a downhill version. And there's an 11, oh, 10 speed uh, Shimano Tiagra 10 to 32 cassette. And the chain I think, is also 11 speed Sunrays. How does this perform at least on the stand? Let's run it through all the gears. As you can see, this works actually pretty well. Now, in order to establish that this is actually an 11-speed shifter, take a look. I'm going through all the gears. Oh, come on. Uh, the reason for that happening is that this is a Z, which has a very strong clutch, because I set it like that, so there's a little bit of hysteresis here. It's not really noticeable when you're riding. I digress. Now, as you can see, I'm on the biggest cog on the cassette, and there's still one extra click on the shifter, which I can force. I probably shouldn't, but I am doing it anyway. So, 11-speed shifter, 10-speed cassette, 10-speed uh, rear derailleur, everything works well acceptably at least. I think you're going to agree. So, this is the reason why I am uh, always advocating or saying or claiming that 10 speed and 11 speed are essentially the same thing. They are uh, just differing by one click on the shifter. Oh, provided of course that the shifter and the derailleur are compatible. And I am actually using this trick on another bicycle with a cassette such as this one. This is an 11 speed Shimano XT 1142 and I've got another one like this on my daughter's bike where I have taken the 11 tooth cog, which I can't take now, oh there it is, turning it to a 13 to 42 and I am or she is shifting uh, that cassette with a Shimano Saint 10 speed shifter which I probably should have used here and used this shifter there. I digress. And it's also working there perfectly fine. Whence came my claim that 11 and 10 speed are essentially compatible. Now let us go further with the topic of the video, actual topic of the video. All right, before we continue, let me first establish a fact that this is in fact a Shimano Ultigra 1123 10 speed cassette, which is somewhat of a rarity these days. Now, let me establish also another fact. And that is that two cassettes are compatible provided that if you replace one with the other, the indexing on that particular bike or indexing of gears on that particular bike is going to remain unharmed. Obviously, if you're going to replace a cassette uh, with one that has less cogs, you're going to have less gears available. And if you're going to replace a cassette with one that has more cogs than the shifter can uh, reliably index, you're going to have some cogs unavailable. However, the shifting quality is going to remain 
unharmed. So let's compare our Ultigra with this 1125 Shimano Tiagra 10 speed as well. Now, as you can see from uh, the picture, uh, the largest cog on the Tiagra is slightly more outward than on the Ultigra. However, that's not really an issue because uh, these two cassettes are perfectly compatible one with another. They are from the same system after all. And I expect that once you torque the, uh, the lock ring on the Tiagra, uh, that little uh, too much with it is going to simply disappear. So what's gonna happen if you're going to put a 10-speed Shimano SLX 1136 over there? Obviously, once again, uh, the largest cog is slightly outward, and then on the Ultigra it's pretty much equal to the, to the Tiagra. However, we can once again establish that these three cassettes are compatible with each other, because even though there's a little bit of difference, that doesn't seem to be impacting shifting in any meaningful way. So how about 11 speed then? On the right there's a Shimano XT 11 speed 1142, on the left, that's a Shimano 105, 11 to 28. And I think it's obvious from the picture you are seeing that 11 speed across mountain and road ranges from Shimano is compatible. That is, spacing between the cogs is identical. So what about 12 speed then? Unfortunately, I don't have anything from a major manufacturer, so Campagnolo, SRAM or Shimano. So we'll have to deal with uh, Chinese stuff. Uh, this is 1150 Bulani, 12 speed. Uh, this is a uh, 1134 ZTTO lightweight cassette, also 12 speed. And as you can see, these two use the same cog spacing because obviously the largest cog is on the same level and they are leveled on the, on the 11 tooth cog. They are cross compatible with each other. However, interesting things happen if we take some other Chinese cassette, which is 1134 from Sunshine, as you can see. Uh, these two cassettes are compatible, but not really, because there's almost a full cog width uh, of a difference between them. And that is because uh, this one is supposedly road, uh, this one is for a mountain bike, or this is 12-speed generic, really not really specified by the manufacturer. And uh, this is the chief reason why I had so much trouble adjusting the Sensa Empire Pro. We're going to return to that in a review of that particular group set. However, we can establish that uh, these two are compatible, but not really. And unfortunately, that's going to be a problem when 12-speed goes mainstream, I think. It would be interesting to know whether the uh, SRAM 12-speed road is also, also has this little difference between the, between the mountain group set. All right, so now let's compare 11 to 12-speed. Uh, this is a Shimano 11 speed uh, 1128, this is a Bulani, and as you can see the largest cog on Shimano, when centered correctly, is slightly off to correctly centered Bulani 12 speed. Now the difference is minor and I think this should be perfectly adjustable. So what I read on the internet is most likely true, however Technically speaking, these two are not compatible because there's a difference in, uh, in spacing. However, as I said, this shouldn't be a problem. I think I haven't tried really. And this here is precisely the reason why I expect that the uh, 12 and 11 speed setups are going to be uh, adjustable because this is a 10 speed Tiagra, this is a 11 speed Shimano 105. As you can see, there is a quite significant difference in the, the position of the largest cog. So these two are not technically speaking compatible, but as you saw in the beginning of this video, it is perfectly possible to adjust one over the other. However, if we put next to each other 10 speed Tiagra and a 12 speed in a mountain spacing a ZTTO 1134, that's compatible with the Bulani, as you remember. I'm just put using it here because it fits in the uh, in the frame. However, you can see that uh, this 10-speed cassette has the largest cog on the position of the 11th cog on the 12th speed, so these two are not going to be compatible. Which means uh, that 11 speed is most likely the most compatible of them all, and if you're uh, searching to do some sort of a, I don't know, 
weird drivetrain, this is what you should be using. Interestingly, if we use uh, the, sh the, uh, the Sunshine 11 uh, 34 12 speed, uh, then the largest cog on the 10 speed cassette is flush with 11th cog on the, on the Sunshine. And as a last test, if we use if we put 11 speed Shimano 105 next to the Sunshine 1134, you can see that the width of both cassettes is almost identical. The Sunshine is just a touch wider, so they are not compatible with the because the largest cog on this one is at the position of the largest cog on this one, and there is one extra click on this one, so this is going to work horribly. So what you can take out of this video? Well, apart from adding to the confusion what is compatible with what, one final note is that if you want something that works perfectly fine, you need to make sure that everything is matched natively to, well, I guess at this point what the manufacturer has produced, because 12 speed cassettes, same, uh, same spacing theoretically, or same size, uh, ZTTO and Sunshine, and they are not really compatible because I have, I had tons of trouble, trouble adjusting the ZTTO over the, using the Sensa Empire Pro, but this one works almost perfectly. <sighs> China. Anyhow, there is a little bit of compatibility to be extracted, as you saw in the beginning of this video. I am using with a success uh, 11 speed shifters on 10 speed cassettes and vice versa, so that works. You can use 11 and 10 speed chains interchangeably, but that's uh, probably a topic from another, for another video. And I have to admit uh, that the poster on MTBR was actually correct, because judging from the uh, from how the 12-speed uh, Bulani was matched to an 11-speed uh, Shimano. Uh, the spacing was so close that uh, adjusting a 12-speed SRAM over 11-speed cassette should be perfectly possible to do and, well, to execute. And at this point I forgot what I want to say, so... All right, and this is an attempt by me to make a finishing statement, so I'm going to keep it short. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Please like it, because that helps me to grow the channel. And I hope to see you on the next one, and I really hope that this little well, experiment proved to be at least interesting.